our Young Women's Initiative started out by doing a national needs assessment of young women across the country. Um, and it had four phases. One was starting with key informant interviews. We also did an um, environmental scan and gap analysis of national programs that were offering um, services to young women. We also did focus groups with young women both at early stage and then as well as um, one group with young women living with metastatic breast cancer. We also launched a national survey um, of 85 questions um, online. We received uh, over 500 responses for that, that national survey. So what we did was we looked at the initial data and it was showing significant differences between women with early stage breast cancer and those with metastatic breast cancer. So we dealt a little di deeper and did a secondary analysis of that and revealed a lot of really telling information around the unique and persistent needs of young women living with metastatic breast cancer. So one of the key findings for us was the financial impact. Um, young women living with metastatic breast cancer reported far more greater financial impact of their breast cancer than early stage breast cancer. So 32% of our sample reported that they were spending $5,000 per year or more on their metastatic breast cancer. That was um, a little, that was about 20, 15 to 20% for early stage breast cancer. And almost the entire group of metastatic, um, young women with metastatic breast cancer cancer reported significant financial impact overall. Secondly, um, the group was also reporting significant symptoms and side effects, current symptoms and side effects compared to early stage breast cancer. So that was fatigue, um, memory loss, weight issues, either weight gain or weight loss, as well as anxiety and depression at much higher rates for this group. Um, Another key finding for us was looking at what the educational needs are for specifically young women with metastatic breast cancer. What do you want to learn? learn? What, what information do you need? So that group for young women living with METS showed that they really are craving medical information at a much higher rate than the early stage group. And so that includes information around current treatment options, clinical trials, managing symptoms and side effects, but it also includes those key psychosocial issues issues of managing the financial impact, the employment issues, the legal resources, um, and as well as just communicating with your healthcare provider team. That's a key issue that we hear women needing support around. How do you have good conversations with your doctors? How do you have good conversations with your support system around this really challenging issue of metastatic breast cancer?